Yes, I, I, I've been doing several things in my life because I'm, I'm rather old <laughs> in a way. But in the last 10 years, I've been working essentially in, on game theory and its applications. And game theory is a, a social and economical theory of interaction between people or entities in general. It can be firms, can be people, can be many things. And it is probably the, the, um, uh, the best quantitative theory we have in the social sciences. This is what I'm doing uh, right now. So, uh, yeah, ma main theory uh, has been applied many, many times since uh, it's a theory that dates back from the 50s, more or less, and uh, has had many useful applications in economy and in sociology. But I can, I can tell you that, for instance, two, two important applications are in um, in oligopoly in economy, so uh, the markets, how they how they work when there are more than one um, producer in the in the of a, of a good in the market, and also has been very useful in political science. For instance, um, issues of peace and war, geo geopolitical issues uh, has been have been treated by game theory in the past. And by the way, uh, there was a famous institute in the United States called the Rand Corporation in the 50s that did just that. 90% uh, of what they did was uh, applying game theory to political uh, scenario. So the, the applications are, are, very, uh, are very important, are many. Uh, on the other hand, um, in the last few years, uh, maybe in the last 15 to 20 years, so to, to, to be more precise, uh, there have been some doubts about the applicability of the theory like it is, like, like it was. Because uh, when you, you perform experiments in the laboratory with actual people that uh, have to take decisions uh, that in, in influence their, uh, themselves and also their partners, then uh, things are not so clear cut. They are, um, are a bit, do not respect 100% the predictions of game theory. The research project here starts from this, um, from this uh, consideration that game theory as it is doesn't explain the behavior of people in many cases. Although has been, I have I've said before that it has been successful in, in many cases, in bargaining, in oligopolies, in auctions, and in some other uh, uh, fields. In, in general, when people are implied, it is not easy to see uh, that game theory really works. And so, because of that, we have set up a research uh, project that has to do with laboratory experiments in which people have to um, take decisions in the face of other people. So people are taking decisions that influence each other. And this is game theory in a, in a way, but we do that in the laboratory. And so our results should, be, uh, should lead us towards the real behavior of people under these decision-making conditions. And this is what have been doing here in, in uh, Carlos III in the last uh, five months, but the research uh, had began with a group, the Complex Systems Group in Carlos III University, Departamento de Matematicas, uh, with which, uh, so my, my, my colleagues are essentially Angel Sanchez, Jose Cuesta, and other researchers here uh, at the Carlos III, and with them we have been exploring this experimental avenue and we are getting important results uh, about the influence of the social structures of the uh, population of people that is going to take decisions that we reproduce artificially in the laboratory. And uh, well, we are, uh, there are already some results that have been published in the last year or so, but we are, uh, we are, we are obtaining new results that will come, come out uh, happily when, when I will be away already from the university, but I will keep my links with the Carlos III University for sure.